Hello folks. I'm putting together a quick little video. Get it out there quickly. Put it out there for people to see, understand and react to. I'm going to put it down on paper or uh, on, a, on a website, you know, written form. This is going to be video. I have been involved with countering sexual predators in the martial arts for years now. I have sent more than one person who teaches martial arts and raped the students under them, the underage students under them, behind bars, more than once. I have seen a lot of messed up stuff over the years. I have seen things that keep me up awake at night. I have heard stories from victims that still make me cringe when I remember them. What I heard today might not be the worst thing, but it is damn close. This morning I put out a blog detailing some techniques and tools that martial arts teachers can use to help prevent sexual predators from having access to the children in their classes. I used an, as an example a man named Patrick Justice, who trained under a man named Stephen Hatfield and was closely associated with another Hatfield student who is now his successor named Brett Morgan, Gordon. I showed how a simple search with the right words could find him and find him on the sexual offenders list. That would be a red flag and prevent most people from you know, taking part in classes at all. <sighs> but of course, Hatfield and Gordon had plenty of stuff on their site about how long he trained, how skilled he was, he was a ninth Don, he was Hatfield's senior student for a while, um, and how in 2017 he stepped down to set up his own organization called the American Jito Kwan something. And, of, and this association, the American Jito Kwan Association, acknowledges every organization that Stephen Hatfield and Brett Gordon create, and they create a lot. And they tend to acknowledge each other's, even their own organizations. Uh, for example, Brett Gordon has something called, or something close to the United States Martial Arts Association, something like that, that acknowledged the, they acknowledged the uh, Kokusai Nihon Buge something, 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 a Japanese name, but set up by Brett Morgan. So Brett Morgan's organization acknowledged and, you know, uh, gave credence to another organization set up by Brett Morgan. If necessary, these types will be more incestuous than an episode of Game of Thrones, but it looks even better when they've got someone else with his own organization acknowledging them and conveying legitimacy by that. So this guy, Patrick Justice, supposedly set up the American Jito Kwan Association and acknowledged them. If you looked at the American Jita Kwan Association site, again, it would say the head of the association is Patrick Justice, at least until this morning. Within two hours after I came up with a blog detailing how we could find that Patrick Justice was a sex offender, um, all references like that was gone. The American Jita Kwan Association website changed from headed by Patrick Justice, to Brett Gordon. Okay, so obviously, for years, Brett Gordon was really in charge of the American Jito Kwan Association. The certificates, the acknowledgments, the words of praise for any other organization, all came from Brett Morgan. Let me take a step back, okay? Not only did Patrick Justice serve three years in prison for sexual assault, but after that, he kept getting nailed more than once, more than once, for failure to register as a sex offender. His pattern of behavior is that it looks like he would move to an area where no one knew him and fail to register as a sex offender. Eventually, he would get caught, get a slap on the wrist, and then they would put him on the sex offender list so that anyone in the area could find him. He would then immediately move to another area and again, fail to register 
until he was caught, and repeat as necessary. Why would someone go to such lengths to avoid being known as a sex offender? One obvious explanation is that he was hoping to keep committing crimes. Maybe not, but any reasonable person would consider that and keep him at a distance. Okay, so, again, this morning I came out with a blog and I was expecting Brett Gordon or Hatfield to, to basically come forward and say, oh, we didn't know. He duped us. We had no idea. Oh, my. And I wouldn't have believed them. But maybe they could have gone away with it, you know? People might have given them the benefit of the doubt. But no. Instead, backed in the corner, they admitted, Brett Gordon admitted, that, yes, he trained with them for years. And they claimed that until 2017, they had no idea, no idea whatsoever that he was a sex offender. That they just, you know, yes, they do, they do all these background checks on everybody, but never did it on him. And when they found out in 2017, he agreed to step down and walk away. They have no idea, according to them, where he is, what he's doing, what he's up to, etc. Which, of course, on their website, as of yesterday, they were saying that he stepped down to set up the American Jito Kwan Association. Hmm. So, they knew. And it's not so much they were silent. It's worse. They actively helped him keep up his claims. They kept up his references, his, you know, that he was a ninth don, that he was, you know, the senior student for a long time, that he was qualified and he was the head of the American Jita Kwan Association. This is what they were saying on their website as of this morning before I put out my blog. And make no mistake, they do not they claim they do not want to know what he's doing now. A man who's failed multiple times to, to register as a sex offender to avoid his past, they don't know what he's doing, they say. Let me be blunt. If Patrick Justice has raped any children in, in the last three years, they are probably complicit. Imagine a mother who has a a daughter, nine-year-old daughter, and the guy down the street offers to teach her martial arts, so she goes online. She finds out on a site run by somebody, not the person offering to teach her, but someone objectives, a third party, saying that this guy's a ninth don, that he's the head of an association, and all these other accolades that Brett Gordon and Stephen Hatfield had on their site. She would have thought he was a great person to leave her little girl with. It's worse than them being silent. They are complicit. They are guilty of helping any child that was raped by Patrick Justice in the last three years. They might as well have held that kid down and shoved socks in their mouth to stop the screams from help from getting to the parents. I've seen a lot of sick things over the years. I've helped put a lot of sick people behind bars. But those people were, well, sick. They were in control of their actions, but what they were doing was because of their own warped desires. Until today, I've never seen anyone like Stephen Hatfield and Brett Gordon that knowingly praised a person they knew that were sexual offenders and had the possibility of going on and raping people and helping them by putting things up on their site to help their story just for their own benefit, for some recommendations for the American Jitaquan Associations, for a story that makes them look good. I, I've never seen such callous disregard for so little, for their own benefit at the cost of children's innocence. This is vile. 
This is pure, unadulterated evil. And to prevent children, any more children, that, you know, I don't know if Patrick Justice raped anyone in the last three years, but there's a damn good chance. And there's a damn good chance that he might go out there. And it might be, and, and anyone that covered over for that has to be exposed. Anyone associated with that, with someone that covered over that and helped him has to be known. I mean, I'm talking about, right now they're talking about a guy named Shihan Dale Sharp also associating with him. Uh, they're dealing with a guy named, you know, David Richardson in Los Angeles. All these people are fine with Stephen Hatfield and Brett Gordon covering and helping the story of a sexual predator. The word must go out. And I'm sure that I'm going to get a lot of crap from these guys and their allies. But, the, but parents need to know that these people are out there and they're doing these types of things. And if anyone associated with them, you know, anyone associated with Stephen Hatfield and Brett Gordon, it's just safer to assume that they are just as bad as Patrick Justice. They might not be, but are you willing to risk your children's innocence on it? So yeah, you'll be hearing a lot about this in the near future and the long-term future. This is not going to end. Do me a favor, folks. If you have kids, give them a hug tonight. They deserve it. <laughs>